Nation! Don't you dare be sour! Clap for your world famous two time champs and feel the power! Woo! It's OJK time. Yes, it is. And I got a couple things to address in this video because guess what? We don't have a game this week. We picked up that cheap victory because of a forfeit. Never a fan of that, but no matter what, it's a W. Anyways. The first thing I want to address is I haven't made an OJK Weekly in a few weeks because clearly there just hasn't been footage. OJK is in a really random spot right now. Like, potentially we only have one game left in our history. So, the past few weeks, the teams that we played, they haven't had film. And we, for whatever reason, don't have a cameraman. So if the other team doesn't have somebody filming, or if they can't relay their film to me, then there will be no OGK Weekly. So if you want to be featured on this weekly episodic series, then you need to be giving your film to me, emailing it to me right there on the screen, or Facebooking it to me, whatever. I just need that link. And moving forward as an organization, as a owner, whoever you are watching this video, even if you're just a player, make sure your organization invests in a camera. Not just for the sake of OGK Weekly, screw this, screw this whole thing right here. For the sake of you, for the sake of you, the player, getting exposure, for the sake of you, the player, making a highlight tape so that you can present your little resume that happened on the field to a team, to people that are actually looking to acquire your talent level. Teams need a camera. This camera that I'm filming with right here, it's, it, you can take it with you anywhere and you can still set it up on a tripod and it costs about $250 brand new and it comes with like one year guarantee from Canon. It's a beautiful thing and it comes in crisp, clear HD quality. So it's a lot of money, I guess, to somebody, but this is a very small, minimal expense for the sake of your players getting the exposure that they need. And plus, I mean, it's a, it's a cool thing if you can give me the link to your film so that I can make some OGK Weeklies because it irritates me that I can't do it because I love doing this and I love entertaining y'all and I love making your highlight tapes. That's why I am making individual highlight tapes too. I make individual highlight tapes for $50. If you give me your film, then I will make your tape and that's just all there is to it. I love this level of football and I do this because I love it. Somebody has to bring light to the gems in the midst of all of this because there's people that need exposure. There's people that need this kind of life pumped into their veins because you know what? It, this is, might be as far as it goes, but you know what? There's a possibility that it might not. Without people like me making these videos, who would ever get discovered? Like honestly, if you don't have a highlight tape, you're not gonna get discovered. If you don't go on an interview, then with a resume, mind you, then you're not going to even be considered. I'm trying to give people that platform to have that resume so they can hand the people, whether it's OGK Weekly or whether it's literally an individual highlight tape. So make sure your team has a camera and make sure if you want a highlight tape, then you get at me because that's what I do. This is video thing, this is my life. The second and third things I really want to talk about is OGK, we are no more after this year. We have one more game left potentially. I don't know who we play yet in the playoffs. I mean, it all has to be decided after this week in the um, actual regular season finales around the league. Good luck to everybody out there. Please stay safe. Um, I'm sad that OGK is done after this year. This is the OGK is my heart and my soul. Like this sport is everything to me. So I hate that my career is going down the drain on this note because OGK has not had a good year. It's like there's. It's like almost like a great divide. Like there's players that are really super committed and are putting their heart and soul into this. And then there's people that apparently that they've already died and gone off the bandwagon. And I mean, that might be literally the mantra of every single team <laughs> at this level, but I'm just not used to that as OGK because we're usually a step above everything. We have a, a ton of people practice, ton of people ready to go. And this past week when we got railed by the fire, which was the first game that we lost absolutely convincingly. And I knew before we even played one down that we're going to lose. 
we just looked like all of our dogs collectively just got lined up and killed like straight genocide like there was no energy there was no life and you know what maybe it's time that OGK is done if we're gonna come out and put a piss poor effort like that the fire kicked our butts when we were already six feet under they made it so that we were 60 feet under which they should have and they did we're just lucky they took it easy on us I don't know who we get to play in the first round of the playoffs but man we got to come out with a little bit more life in us than that if that's gonna be our final game ever you know what I'm saying every moment we have on this football field is a moment we might never get back so make sure this week when you end your regular season and head into the playoffs give it everything you got because you never know when it's you're gonna be your last play it could be your last game it could be your last moment on this earth so take advantage of the breath within your lungs and give it everything you got don't take no plays off and destroy that man across from you especially if his name's Valentine or anybody like that anyways I love you I hope Everybody has an amazing weekend, and I just wanted to explain a few things. So like and subscribe. This is woo!